Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, uh, checking out Valiant Hearts The Great War. Uh, I mentioned in my Child of Light video, these two games came on the same card, and I and it was like fairly affordable to get them as the one card, and I wanted to play Child of Light, so I got them together. I don't know anything about this game, uh, apart from the fact that it came on the same card as Child of Light, which I'm really enjoying. So, um, I think I made the right choice. <laughs> But hopefully this game's good as well. I don't know anything at all about it, apart from its title, and the fact that there's a cute dog on the picture just there. So we'll see if this game's any good, um, when I take a first look at it. Uh, well, I disconnected my controller for some reason. Alright. It's also from Ubisoft, which makes sense, because... You know, they published two Ubisoft games on the same card. It has the same epilepsy warning, so you might want to watch out for that if you are photosensitive in some way. Uh... Okay, we've got a bunch of people with no eyes and a puppy. Uh, controls. I'll figure them out as I play. I'll turn on subtitles. I won't turn on veteran mode because I've never played this game. A button to validate. That sounds handy. You're so valid. Uh, I guess let's hit play and see how we go. It's kind of weird that there's no sound at this point. Like, I feel like there should be some music or something on this screen, but it's it's not. It's completely silent. New game. Apparently it had continue selected, even though I hadn't, didn't have a game to continue, which is weird. It's kind of a weird oversight to do that. Freely inspired. Okay, so it's based on August World War One. Nineteen fourteen. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia because of established alliances. Friends is preparing for conflict. It's kind of refreshing a for it to not have a war game not based on World War II, because they always are. Living in France are asked to leave the country. Carl is one of them. <sighs> okay, so having no eyes appears to be just the art style they've gone with. It looks nice. I don't know if the gameplay is any good, but... Oh, that's a little pixely. They didn't quite think that part through. Yeah, they didn't really draw these in high enough resolution for the zooming effects they're using to work right. Oh no! Where's that tear coming from? They have no eyes. Hmm. I assume that's like a conscription or something. And this guy seems to be a veteran already of some war or another. I think. That's the interpretation I'm getting anyway. A few days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away Emil as well. A heavy-hearted Emil was called up to fight and left the farm for Samuel. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. Okay, so I'm playing as him now. I can walk left and right. Uh, I can't walk up or down, even though it looks like there's background. It's, it's sort of side-scrolling. Doesn't seem to matter how much I tilt the stick, he moves at the same speed. My clothes just, just disappeared, I'm in underwear now. Okay. And I can press X apparently to look at some books. Okay, so it's historical facts and photographs and stuff. That's kind of cool, actually. Giving you some historical info about different stuff. 
Now I'm wearing this outfit. <laughs> Go back. Oh no, I just caused the army to charge. I oh, know I can go faster. I can, I can actually walk at different speeds by talking a different amount now. I can bolt over this by pushing up, okay. This is a bit of a tutorial, obviously. Uh, I can whack these little dummies with the Y button. That's using my gun barrel, even though I have a sword, which is a bit weird. Okay, I need to press that R. Okay, so I can throw stuff. Oh, I, I hold ZR, then I press A. Okay. The controls are a little weird, but I guess manageable. gun every time he runs forward, like, that's, that's a hazard. Okay, I'm walking. Okay. That's all the training you need to become a military person. Oh, and I have to raise the flag? Okay. I actually have to rotate the stick in a circle in order to do that. It's not just, like, holding it or whatever. Okay, so. My dear Marie, we are on our way to Paris. The atmosphere here is strangely cheerful. Now, I hope that the harvest goes well. Rely on our neighbors for help. What is that They've accident? always been gracious and charitable people. It doesn't I'll write sound again like as soon as I get my French assignment. or whatever. Please hmm. kiss my little grandson for me. I don't know about that. At the train depot in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at Platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be his truest friend. Is it that guy with the... in the middle there? I hope so. See, it's pretty cool. confused. I guess I need to get a bottle from over here, but then what? I need to be able to throw the bottle at those guys. We have to throw it at the bell? Aha! I got a whistle. What do I do with that? This is confusing. Uh, okay, so this is kind of, kind of like a puzzle adventure game, sort of? Based around the wall, which is interesting. Fair enough. I'm not sure if getting the bell did anything, not the bell, the other thing. The whistle. Okay, so I've got the whistle, can I use it? Somehow? Hey, hey, oh. 
I don't think I have a button to actually use that whistle that I got. I think it's just like a collectible to remind you of that stuff. Okay, so I can't give him that bottle because it's empty, I think. That guy has a bottle. Give me that. <laughs> oh, I see. Here we go. So yeah, this is kind of like a kind of like a point and click adventure. Like it's not point and click, obviously, but it's similar, which is interesting. I mean, I was expecting some sort of, you know, like a squad tactics kind of combat game, because it's, it's about war, but it's not. At least it doesn't seem to be. What am I doing over here? <laughs> no ladder. I love music. Okay, so I need to get these guys playing the music. But all, all at the same time. Pressure. Seems like they don't know how to play very well. Maybe I need a conductor or something to help them. Can I get a conductor? Hmm. This is a confusing game. No ladder. Hmm. Oh, you start the drums first, then when you bring in the other instruments, they all go to a different rhythm. Okay, I see. Okay, that makes sense. I can climb the ladder. Get on top of the train. Run across the coal car. Pull the other whistle. Which will get those guys out of the way, and I can meet that guy. Hello, friends, you have no eyes either. Let's be pals. It's from America. Bye, pal. August 21st, 1914. It's really interesting. Emil's regiment was sent to fight against the 71st German Division, led by Baron von Dorr. Yeah, I was the expecting some of sort of, first hours like, like a, a war, into the like a shooter of, of some kind. Combat. But this clearly is not what we've got here. It's very interesting. Um, they have cannons and stuff. It's not a good idea. Ah! This was a terrible plan. ranged weapons ourselves. What I'm holding is this flag. I know it's got a spiky point on it, but it's, it's not exactly a suitable weapon against mortars. Hmm. Oh. I guess I'm dead now. Did I do something wrong? Or is that just what happened? Yeah, they should have drawn these, like, just to start working like a higher resolution or Miss Marie Chion, using vectors or something. So it would be so Emile fuzzy. Chion, from the 150th Infantry Regiment, was wounded by enemy fire. On okay, so he's not dead. He's just wounded. All right, that's he good. He's been captured by the enemy. Oh, that's not good. Hopefully, you shall receive news from him soon. Okay. Um. 
Freddy, originally from America, enlisted voluntarily in the French forces at the start of the war. Behind his bravery hid a man already devastated by the war's effects. A man with one sole obsession, punish those who had destroyed his life. I like him. It was at the Battle of the Marne that Freddy finally picked up the trail of the regiment commanded by Baron Von Dorf. I don't think they have actual weapons, but I've got pretty big fists, so I guess that's good. Need TNT to blow this up? Oh no, we can snip it. There we go. I kind of love a bridge by the looks of things. Well, that's a bridge. Um, we can't get too close. Yeah! Take that guy's gun? No. Eek! Start from just where we were. So yeah, it's like a point-and-click adventure puzzle sort of game, which is really surprising. It's good. Weird though. Okay, so I'm gonna stand back here till the I run out of ammo again and have to reload. Then I can climb up here while they're reloading. There we go. And grab whatever this is. Oh, I meant to distract him by throwing it over here, right? Yeah, then I can climb down here and punch anyone else in the other way. There we go. Well, let's see explosives to try and set off. This looks thoroughly researched, which is pretty cool. Mm. Get up there? Yeah. Let's get up here and grab whatever this thing is. Is that like a gun of some kind? Some sort of explosive? Wasn't sure where they were. Okay, so I may have to be a bit more careful here. While they're reloading, I went up there and hang out, I guess. I 
Why am I up to anything for throwing my days? in his head. <laughs> yeah, we can get a bottle and we can throw it to bed and bring it on that ladder. And I guess we need to distract that guy. gonna shoot me if I just walk up there. That's not ideal. I'm gonna do with that, but I guess I can get a tomato. No, oh, I thought I could like maybe punch that open or something. Doesn't look like it. I can punch that though. Price card or something. Can I use the gun? Do I not need to? Because it's facing the wrong way. <laughs> Looks like a handkerchief or something. I guess that's cool. Down, oh, cool. Heck yeah. Thanks to support from British forces, the German plan failed. The Yay. front line moved back to the north, and with the arrival of winter, froze. Soldiers holed up amid a vast labyrinth of trenches and tunnels that would become the indelible image of the Great War. Carl's regiment retreated to the outskirts of Neuve Chapelle, the same camp where Emile was being held prisoner. Well, I think that's a villain. I'm playing as Emile now in the prison prison camp. There's a puppy. Hello, puppy. Give the dog water. Yes, I will. I'd love to give the dog water. I love dogs. Good puppy. Can't pull out for some reason. Oh, my legs are chained together. Oh, no. I got a photo. I think that's my wife. But I got a photo of this thing. Oh, no. I forget who that is. Some a friend? Maria's. Yes, que ça va? Dearest I think Papa, it's like his we son live in or a something? climate of uncertainty. Germans use the people of Saint Miel as human shields against the French bombings. I hope the Germans treat you well and that your wounds are healed. Your grandson sent you kisses. I sent you a picture of him. All my love. Please write soon. Hey, 
guess I'm supposed to do something in here now. I can move the big um thing up here and here. I've made some tasty, tasty sausages, which I can take over to the sausage wanting guy. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm supposed to get inside quicker. Oh no, that was what's supposed to happen. Puppy. Am I playing as the dog now? Oh my gosh, the vision, like it went black and white because dogs can't see in color. This game is amazing. Yeah, if I hold L, I switch to playing as the dog, I think. What? Or something. Can you rescue this guy? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I meant to press A as the, as the dude, okay. Zeppelin? I've got a bunch of mortars here. This dog can fit under there, but I can't. Hmm. Oh, I see. There's a switch over there. I need to get that. So I need to throw a bottle at it. It'll fall down. I'll get the dog to get it. And I can take it and put it in place. Good puppy. Then I can pull the lever. And then we'll get that out of the way and I can use it. Past it. <laughs> what? what am I doing wrong? Puppy, help me. I'm stuck. <laughs> Is this, a, is this a bug? What? I seem to be stuck on this side. Um. I don't see anywhere I can go. There's nothing over here. Oh. 
Doesn't really help me. Um... over it if it's flat. Hang on. Let me just let it get flat. There we go. No. Okay, I'm stuck. Uh, maybe if I quit and then reload it, it might work better. It seems like it's a, that's a bug of some kind. Why continue? Thanks to support from British forces, the German plan failed. Yeah, I saw this a moment ago. Okay, it said saving, but it actually hadn't saved. Okay, that's not great. Get the dog some water. And run away. I gotta talk to this guy to get the water. Okay. Okay, go in here. Grab this thing. Can I get this? Because I just saw it. Yes. Water, and then fire, hot water, and then soft water. Make it soft water. Three genders of water. Cold, hot, sausage. <laughs> yeah, that's an annoying I think I found a bug. Okay, and the dog rescues me. Hi, Poppy. Thank you, Poppy. Thank you, Papi. Good, Papi. <laughs> Alright, so clearly what I'm supposed to do with this puzzle... I want to get this thing, and I want to put it in the right spot, which is about here. And then get up here before it falls down. Yeah, like that. There we go. I'm not sure what happened before. Hey, what? Hold the puppy to go through. Is that because the puppy can't climb on ladders? Yeah, it is. Come on, puppy. Puppy. What's going on, puppy? What? Whoa. Um, <laughs> okay, here's something. Did I just dig into an underground cavern with a spoon? Oop. Don't run into the explosives. Bad idea. Oh, the skull, the skull, and the, the dog is warning me not to do that. I made a mistake. That's foolish. I think I can go this way though. A little hook thingy. There's a light over here. Oh. Okay. Um, what are you barking at, puppy? What is it? Hey. 
Got a bone. Can I take the bone, puppy? Thank you. Good puppy. Now I can throw that to get this uh, rope ladder down. Oops. Oh my gosh, puppy play fetch. Good puppy. Good puppy. <laughs> Okay, that lets me reach the treasure back here without dying, I think. Yeah, I can grab it from this side and then I won't get exploded. Cool. Come on, puppy, let's go. Find something? Take the bone off. Unless you don't want to. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Love to dig with a spoon. Okay, there's clearly more explosives here. It's a bit concerning. Carefully. Ah! That's a little fiddly. Um. More? Nope, too much. Hmm. Not a fan of that mechanic, I gotta say. Um. Can I dig up? I can. Okay, so let's go up this way. It'll be easier anyway. We can grab this. Compass. Uh, oh, we have to go back and go the other way. So we'll put that explosive there. Ah, dang it. Do I keep the compass or do I have to get it again? I kept it. Okay, so I think it's good. Hi, puppy. We made it. Puppy, puppy, come back! <gasps> oh no! <gasps> the British troops continued their attack on Neuve Chapelle. Their next objective. Take back Port Arthur. Ah. Oh dear. Oh, there's some. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can get a bit more. Oh, I need to wire it up, I see. Can I throw it? No. So we've got some sort of a puzzle going on here. 
Trying to grab the wheel, but it's not happening. Okay, I two TNTs. That's this one. Oh no, the middle one needs three. I see. Okay, I get it. So that's this one. So I need to throw this guy the TNT. Like so. Huh? Is that the wrong one? Oh, that's four. Okay. So I need um, this one. I need two. 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 I need Let me set it off. Oh, cool. It made a bridge for us. Sorry, help. Happy. Oh, I can cut these now. Merci, mon ami. Hooray! Let's go get their flag. And oh, precious son. We will go save precious son. I think that's son. I didn't quite follow the earlier cutscene. <laughs> Amidst the never-ending attacks and counterattacks, Freddy and Emil hunted the elusive Baron and his regiment. In <coughs> On April 22nd, 1915, chlorine gas was used for the first time by the Germans. That's not good. <laughs> um, we'll get something to switch it off. Okay. And throw. <coughs> yeah, I think I could just walk over there. Um, a dog's immune to chlorine gas or something? I, I doubt it. Do I really have to send a dog over there to stop the chlorine? <coughs> Okay, the puppy's okay for some reason. I'm pretty sure dogs aren't immune to chlorine, but alright. A bit of a puzzle here. Um, oh, digging. Oop. Okay. <laughs> um. Here, let's go over here. We'll grab this thing. That looks like someone's dog tag. I think it's a dog tag. Uh, how do I get back up? This hurts me. Um, I think I need to bring the doggy down here. Maybe? What? I don't know how I can do that though. What? Hmm. I 
lower it? Can I drop down onto it, or is that not an option? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I see these little dog tunnels here that you can go through, but... I just keep pulling it up, maybe. Maybe if it goes higher, something interesting will happen. No. Hmm. Oh, I'm confused. Um. Yeah, can't get any lower than that. That's what I thought. I seem to be stuck. Um, hmm. Oh, maybe if I put it here, I can get the... Okay, okay. Figured it out just as different try. Yeah, the puppy can go to here now, which means I can bring the puppy over here. I can hop on here, and have Puppy pull that, to lower me down, and then I can get the Puppy to come down here as well, to reveal hole, right? Or I can do this, that's fine. Okay, so this is the chlorine gas machine, I guess. It's a switch dude. Raises a little platform there, okay. Just what you'll do. Oh, okay, so I can adjust where the gas goes by turning these little knobs and things. This looks complicated. It's a surgical mask of some kind, of that. Pretty sure I want this conveyor belt to be taken. This conveyor belt, this thing. This little car to be taken this direction. Okay, then I want the puppy to lift it up so I can put the two carts together. So, lift it up, please, puppy. Good puppy. Lower it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the hang of this. Alright, then I have a pile of two, which I can bring over this way. I can put here where the, like Arrow was saying, put your carts here. If I pull this, it raises it up, right? Yeah, which fills that pipe, then I can start turning this to wire up all the other pipes. There we go. I assume I'm trying to make this thing, like, get too high pressure or something? I'm not really sure. Is that supposed to be a puppy? Oh, it just turns that one, okay. There. Oh, and then it's gonna explode! Okay, that looks dangerous. Um... Do we just wanna leave now? While it blows up? Or... I'm not sure. Hack the machine? No. Um, hmm. I'm confused. I can take this back out again. Um, no, the puppy won't do that. I can't get the other side of this in that case, because it's... Hmm. Hmm. I'll turn these, is that what I do? Oh, there we go. I did in the wrong spot, okay. Confusing. Oh cool, a ladder. <laughs> Wait, where's the puppy? Where's my puppy? 
Need my copy. Where's my copy? Okay, um, so we keep going this way. Keep going this way. Oh no, a Zeppelin! That's not good. Eek! Okay, well, I should be able to climb that rope, right? Can I grab it? I should be able to. Hmm. I'll keep going and see what else is around. Basket. I'm fine, puppy. Oh, someone's hat. Okay, I can take the basket over this way. Um, I'm guessing I need to tie it to the rope. And then I have something on the rope that I can use. Like that, yeah. Okay, and the, the dog gets an- Oh, look! Look! Puppy in basket. That's cute. So then he can go get the bone, and also probably bring down the, the ladder for me, right? Yeah, let's go. Okay, I can't cut that because I'm not the other guy. He's the one that had the... Hello! Thank you, my friend. Can you help? Don't worry, my friend. This way. Get this what? Eek! Oh no! Her name was Anna, a Belgian Anna. student living in Paris. She was hard on the trail of her missing father. For once, fate smiled on them. Okay, I've been they playing for almost an hour, so I guess I'll give some thoughts. This game looks really great. It's Vimy, a fascinating concept, a I think. It's spotted. basically, uh, as far as like, I think it's, a, I think it's historically accurate. It's like a documentary. About World War One in the form of a, an adventure game, which is really interesting. Okay, now I'm driving the car. Some of the puzzles I feel are a little obscure, and I got stuck that one time, and I don't think that wasn't intentional. They probably hadn't quite tested that possibility. Maybe a bug got me to the other side, and it wasn't supposed to be able to happen. I don't know. I don't remember how it happened. I could probably check the footage. Um, yeah, I like the look of this game. Um, I think it's pretty cool to create what seems to be a fairly accurate documentary about World War One. That's also a pretty decent adventure game. Um, with some pretty cool puzzles. Um, the whole... Oh, ah! oh I can take a hit. Okay. But yeah, so that's... what's this game called? Valiant Hearts? I like it. It's not really... Like, it's, it's showing that war is bad and that sort of thing, which I think is good. Um, it's not, you know, quite as glorifying of war as a lot of these war games are. Like the, you know, Call of Duty and all that sort of thing. Um, oh no. Oh no. Uh, can I quit here? Yeah, I'll quit for now. Um, yeah, I like it. I like this game. I like the look of it. Um, what was the name? Valiant Hearts The Great War. So it's, it's like, yeah, it's like a point-and-click adventure documentary about World War One by the looks of things. And I'm 
really impressed with it, actually. Um, uh, I was expecting some sort of, like, first-person shooter or something, but no, no, this is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I like it, and I'd probably recommend checking it out. Looks cool to me. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope this game was as interesting to you as it was to me, because I found it pretty interesting. And bye!